Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about business mindset. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I am working at a software company and I have to admit that I am a little bit of a code monkey, but why should I care about having a business mindset? I just want to code. Well, uh, I can understand that that's how you feel because we're all, I suppose in one way or another, trying as software developers to do things that we enjoy doing. It's uh, after all not the sort of job that you take just because. It's You usually have some idea of why you want to be a software developer. There are many jobs where you're just doing the daily grind without really doing it for any other reason that hey you want some money right. Uh, but as a software developer you actually usually have a preference in what you want to do and you can see this preference very clearly in, in a lot of the software developers. Usually you have one or two characters. You have the people who are really passionate about the code itself which is probably the thing that you are and then you have the characters who are a little bit indifferent they just kind of love the social aspect they're not really loving the coding all that much they're more inclined to go into like processes and business and so forth and uh, before you know it they're managers and stuff of that nature but the thing is that you don't really gain so much from having this idea that you're just going to focus on the coding. Actually it's going to not only hurt your code, it's going to hurt your long-term career. Let me explain that a little bit. So when I say that it's going to hurt your long-term career, what I mean is that you will reach a point where without a business mindset one you, you will not be able to progress any further. I know this is uh, this is going to sound weird, but your code is actually not going to be the limiting factor for you when you get to a certain point. In the beginning of things, absolutely, when you're a junior developer, it's going to be the most important thing for you to focus on because the honest to God answer is that you don't know enough about systems development to be able to make a meaningful contribution in the business area. I have had so many talks with junior developers who think that they understand what's important and they it's it's really really frustrating to have a discussion with someone who knows a fraction of what they need to know and they come with all of these wild ideas over and over and over and you can just you just have to walk them through why it's not going to work why it's not going to work and you don't have to have that discussion with someone who's already acquired a bit of experience because they've already understood what's good why this doesn't work why we can't just do mob programming for every story every time we are doing anything or why we can't um, throw out the um, backlog and start working on something completely radically different because we're experimental and things like that it, it, you like when you're dealing with such an individual it's at least for me it's just really tiresome because the either they're deliberately trying to be disruptive to see what's happening or they simply don't understand how the uh, how a comp company works and that's a key thing that's the key thing they don't understand how a company works they don't understand how an IT company works that is a big problem because this is one of the most important things that you can invest in both short term once you have the coding skills as I, I'm raising my finger and I'm saying don't try to go far into this until you know what the fuck you're doing with the code because if you can't do it if if you think that you're gonna be a business person before you even know how to do write software well you're not going to but once you have those skills when you're a mid-level developer or something like that this is actually the most important thing you can do because if your stakeholders come in and they ask you to build something and you don't understand how that thing fits into the overall code base or what the vision of the company is, how the company w works, what is the business model, who is the customer, what should the priorities be, you cannot help guide the conversation and actually ask the right questions so that the code becomes a very good reflection of the system that is required in order to, for the company to meet success. 
in other words without you understanding the the business part of your company your code will actually never be able to fully do what it is that you need to be doing this happens all the time guys one of the best t sayings that there uh, there is which is I've verified this in every single company I've ever worked in is that the code is always a reflection of the company in other words the way that the company works is going to be reflected in the code this is why we have domain driven design domain entities all of this stuff it is a hundred percent true because you as the software developer what you're in essence trying to do is that you are trying to create a code representation of a problem domain that the company has and through software solve some of the problems that that company has now how will you be able to do that if you don't understand how the business works well you're going to be able to but you're not going to be very effective at it and long term it's actually going to hurt you more than you can think because long term a the the more the, the longer you spend in IT and the better you get at software development the more important it is that you are involved in bigger and bigger discussions and bigger decisions in the company if you want to get to a CTO level or if you want to become a manager or something like that it's actually critical for you to understand this because at a, at a certain level how good you are at coding no longer matters if you want to continue up the ladder now it's it matters that you have all those base coding skills and all those years of experience but also that you know how to run a company how do you run an IT company you don't have to of course be I mean you're not we're not trying to make you a business person we're simply try the the companies are simply looking for someone who knows how to run the IT department for example and big really really big companies they hire experts who many of them have been running multiple different IT companies have been at the management level in order to do all of this and this is not something that you're going to learn from just watching the screen you're not going to be able to figure out how to how to set up an entire IT company without actually paying attention to the business part of the company that you are working for so what I want you to take away from this is that if you just want to write code you can but uh, if you do that for the rest of your career odds are that when you're getting into your retirement years you're going to find it really hard to find a job because uh, the 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 natural life cycle as I like to call it of your career as a software developer is that you start learning just how to write code but remember writing code is just a means to an end for you what's really important is that you can solve problems for the company and the more time you spend in software engineering the more complicated the problems you are expected to be able to solve and when you get to a certain point in your seniority you will no longer be able to solve those problems through code alone you can of course ignore those problems but then you stop your you, st you stop a very important part of your development if you want to be able to run a successful IT company you will need to be be able to understand how business work and how a company is run and all of this good stuff so I urge you to really think about being involved once you have the coding skills uh, in the in these pro in these discussions and be part of the bit of the bigger picture because not only will it save you a lot of problems up the road when you become a little bit older it will also give you a lot of opportunities that's much broader than you can from you can get from just the coding and finally it will actually make your code better as well because the code is a reflection of the business in other words if you don't understand the business odds are that your code is going to become legacy quicker that's usually how it goes have a great day